monkeys. And a little bit more than monkeys. Let's talk about the unit primatology and everything we're going to cover. Primatology. We get to talk about a lot of really cute, fuzzy things. For this unit, we're going to talk about what is primatology. We'll talk about our learning objectives for this module, some resources that will help you as you're learning more about primatology, and lastly, we'll go over the primate profile, the module summary for this unit. So first, Primatology is simply the study of primates. There are so many different things that primatologists look at. Some of them might look at social behavior, such as grooming. You might look at mating behavior. You might look at development, how little primates grow into adults. Some others look at anatomy, sexual selection, phylogenetics, vocalizations, territoriality, and even more look at the fossil record. But let's put primates in context. So here we have a lot, um, several different vertebrate animals. So we have bones. We're here, primates, our chimpanzees, we are closely related to other mammals on this tree. But let's look within mammals, and we are here, we're in the group Archonta. And if we look at group Archonta right here, um, we are relatively closely related to rodents and rabbits, or group Glerys, and we are over here in U Archonta, all of us together are you are contagliaries and we are right here sister group to the calugos or flying lemurs um flying lemurs is one of the more amusing names because they neither fly and they aren't lemurs um you might hear them also called dermopteras or sugar gliders they are a relatively popular um, pet in the united states right now for this unit we have a couple objectives First, we want to understand what primates are. So we're going to compare them to other animals with the goal of being able to identify a primate and explain what its characteristics are. Then we'll talk about the different major groups within primates, and then we'll have a couple special topics. We'll talk about behavior, diet, and social organization. As you're learning more through this unit, there are a couple of resources that you will find very helpful. The Northeast uh, Primate Conservancy has a wonderful resource. So they talk about um, conservation, education, but they also have primates at a glance and profiles on different major primate groups. This is a great place to go when you're trying to figure out, okay, what are all these names and how do I keep track of them? We also have Primate InfoNet. It has some similar resources to the Northeast Primate Conservancy, but the part I like the most is the primates and the news. So this will help give you a little bit of uh, application and how, what you should care about that's happening right now. I also highly recommend looking at the IUCN Red List. This is the official list of endangered species. So this of course has a lot more than just primates, but this will be a great place to just search a common name and figure out what are the species out there and what's their conservation status. The IUCN Red List does have to go through a couple levels of bureaucracy. So recently named species will not appear in the IUCN Red List because they do need to be officially recognized before they are added to this particular website. Lastly, you can look at GBIF or the Global Biodiversity Information Facility. They have um, occurrence records for different species. So this will help you figure out where different species have been located. And what we're building to at the end of this module is our primate profile. This is an assignment that will allow each student to investigate a specific primate species. And we're gonna make it sure that each species, each student in this class looks at a different primate species so we can create a class study guide. Um, we'll be choosing our species about halfway through the module once we're familiar with the different primate groups. Um, so as you're going through the beginning of this unit, think about what you wanna do. So what is primatology and what are you excited to learn?